All right, for those that are listening in, this is my favorite necromancer design. It's got, uh, it's the best one out of all of them, I'd pretty much say. As you can see here, I've got my runes of the org, because all things considered, they are hands down the most powerful. Scepter dagger, you can see the sigils I got on them, and then the staff. I like to use the, uh, the precision amulet, the rabbit, just because of the crits, and this is why. Got increased bleeding, corruptions, and you got the 25% chance of weakness on critical hits. That is huge, absolutely huge. Of course, marks are unblockable. I like this better than the the staff recharge, simply because a lot of people have uh, blocks and stuff, or the the bubbles or the shields. I can still even when they shield, I can switch to staff and start dropping stuff on them. Last is the Siphon Health on Critical Hit. The siphon Health, when you do Critical Hit, instead of the regular 25 or something, will heal you for around 300. Considering the amount of uh, attacks you'll be thrown out, and especially keeping your uh, critical really high, you're going to get those a lot. Well, my Force Drain is 25% slower. This is uh, the basic tank form. This is uh, you pop Death Shroud when you want to... Uh, take whatever burst damage they have and then plop out of it. The key thing to know with the Death Shroud is you only use it when you need to tank damage. Once you're done with it, get out of it as quickly as possible, your condition damage. You just use it to basically extend your life. And then marks generate 3% more life force. As you can see with the Rabid, it gives me the precision. I got a 49% crit rate with a 23% crit dealt damage. And last but not least is the Minor Corruption, which is nice. You start getting 5 kills and you get that up to 25 stacks. That'll increase your condition damage somewhere up to around 1500, which really kills things quick. And the uh, Standard Consume Conditions. Plague Signet. I like Plague Signet a lot more now that I know how to use it. Plague Signet will gather up everything you have everything around you and you'll throw it at one guy. If you got a whole list of conditions on yourself, simply tap that and throw it at him. Also it breaks stun. Corrupt Boon. I used to try and save this for like when that guy would have all those, you know, boons on themselves, but now I'm starting to use it a lot more now that they have like three or four on them rather than just screwing around with it. And considering the, the cooldown time on Epidemic, it's 12 seconds now with the 20% production. That is huge. Being able to like, even if they got a couple, uh, a couple uh, conditions on them, just go ahead and spread that around. And instead of using the uh, the plague, I much prefer the summon go uh, flesh golem. This is simply because it knocks them down again, and allows you to stack yet more conditions on them while they're in destabilized, and then you can spread it. I find it a lot better than uh, going into plague itself because plague, though nice, deprives you of several key things like going into the death shroud to take damage or to heal yourself or to stun break and all those other jazz. Anyways, that's essentially my build. Take care.